that. Good. What is up boys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a really fun day because we finally, finally get to put the new wheels and tires on my Nissan Titan. So what we've got here are Vision Rocker 20 by 12 negative 51 in either 6x135 or 6x139.7 I honestly don't remember what this truck has um, but they have a an anthracite face so it's kind of a dark gray I'm not sure how well the camera will really pick it up but it's a really nice dark gray and then a, a satin lip and then the bolts on the outside I guess kind of like a faux beadlock type of thing and to go along with those we have these ginormous 3512.5 R20 Toyo Open Country MTs, so these are basically the most aggressive tire that you can get from Toyo, and they are really, really big, um, and unfortunately, they're definitely not going to fit, because my truck only has a leveling kit on just the front, so if you look in here, we put in a uh, Toyo Moto, I, I don't remember what it was, it was some Amazon thing, let's see if I get it cranked up so you guys can see it, it's in there, it's under the, uh, under the spring bucket thing. Um, we put in a really cheap leveling kit and it's three inches in the front and then we haven't done anything to the rear still. So we're definitely gonna have to do some cutting. Right now it's about 8.30 in the morning. I need to get these things loaded up and then head out to work and I'm going to drop off the wheels and tires at a local tire shop, more than likely drop them off at Element Wheels, have them mounted up and then uh, put these on the truck later tonight. Alright guys, here we are a few hours later. We got these things all mounted up. They are uh, quite big. Got them all back here in the back of the truck. Courtesy of Element Wheels. Thank you to you guys for mounting these up at an awesome price. Uh, let's go get these things mounted on the truck. Hey, Ryder, what were you saying about the 3D printing? I didn't say, man, I didn't say jack. Shit. It wasn't me, it was Zach. Zach said it. I'm just paraphrasing. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I just couldn't find one at a good price. Alright, so as you guys can see, we've got this all marked up. So this is where it's going to be cut. So we just need to cut a little bit. Already got this pulled off. We got the angle grinder ready. Oh no, you're hitting hitting tire. Oh, are we? It's tire. Right. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a bounce. Yeah, I heard it hit that tire. And as you guys can see, we got them fully mounted onto the truck. I had to do quite a bit of cutting on the front. Luckily in the rear, it's a little bit hard to see, but we had to do zero cutting in the rear. It fits just fine. On the front, um, on the front, we still need to cut a little bit right here. It's just rubbing a tiny bit. Um, my fender liner is kind of sagging. Uh, it shouldn't hit though. And in the rear, we had to cut a decent amount. You can see we had to cut the fender liner and quite a bit of material back here in order to get these to fit and they are still rubbing just slightly. It's a little bit hard to see, but right there, um, still rubbing a tiny bit right there. Not a big deal. So let's go, uh, let's go get some photos of it. that's it for today's video we finally got these wheels on the truck looks absolutely amazing big thank you to chuck motorsports for helping me cut and grind the truck and help get these wheels installed big thank you to vision wheels uh toyo tires and vivid racing they all gave me a fat hookup on this kind of stuff i'll see you guys in the next one